Hey guys, Utah Steve here back for another video and today is a little bit awkward. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a great day to film outside. Um, and this particular video I do have to film at home before I go on the hike I'm about to go on. So the problem is my neighbors are all out in their backyard enjoying this beautiful Sunday and being very loud and obnoxious and they're totally entitled to do that. And I don't want to look like a crazy person sitting on my patio uh, talking to myself. So, frankly, we're going to film this at my kitchen table. In this episode, if you're not familiar, in the past I've done something called What's in My MRE. And what I like to do is I like to open any MREs that I have and repackage them in a Ziploc bag, removing items that I know I'm not going to use or need and just taking that with because the packaging itself and all the extra items tend to add weight to my pack and also garbage that I have to haul in and haul out. So it just simplifies the process and it also gives you and me an opportunity to see what's inside the MRE. Now in a previous video I said I was not going to buy a case of MREs because they were twice the price they were last year. However, the United States government decided to step in and send me a pandemic stimulus check. Money I didn't expect, or frankly even want. I don't agree with throwing money at this problem. But if somebody's going to force it on me, I bought myself a new camera you're watching this on, and I bought myself a case of MREs. <laughs> so guys, let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. First of all, I am not going to go through every MRE. I'm going to just randomly pick one from the case and we'll just take that one with us hiking no matter what it is. So that's the plan. That, otherwise, this video would be 20 years long. Right. As you can see, this is also an unboxing. I have not opened this at all. I've had this box about a week. Die. Okay, so looks like it's a case inside a case. All right, so there we have it. 12 MREs, United States military. Which one's it gonna be, guys? Which one's it gonna be? I think right in the middle. And that one is menu number five. I can't straighten chicken chunks, white cooked. Well, I'm glad it's cooked. Let's tear into menu number five and see what we need to remove, if anything. All right. It looks like this is just a little card showing the nutrition information. Never seen that loose in there before like that. So we first have some plain tortillas, plain old tortillas. That that we'll probably use. That's a good lunch item. Please be peanut butter. It's not. Okay. Um, if you've watched these videos before, you know I hate the cheese spread. I love the peanut butter. I will not be eating this. It's nauseating. This is like that cheese in a can you buy and put on crackers. It's not really cheese. I'm pretty sure it's styrofoam and animal droppings. So I'm not eating that. Buffalo style hot sauce. Here's our accessory pack. One thing I've noticed about MREs in the last couple of years that I've done this, they've become really chintzy with their accessory pack. There's almost nothing in them anymore. I can just look in here and see what's in here. There's toilet paper, there's gum, there's a drink mix, a handy wipe, and some salt. And that's it. Let's see if I can see the drink mix. Beverage base. Well, we're going to take it out anyway. We're going to get rid of this outer packaging. Beverage base lemonade. Is it sugar free? Unfortunately, it looks like it's sugar free. It is, it says sugar free. So the problem I have with this is when I'm hiking or out on an adventure is I want energy. So this isn't very helpful, but I'll take it. It's refreshing if anything. Toilet paper always comes in handy, goes in my kit. 
even if I don't use it, and I always have plenty when I go camping. Again, salt, a towelette, and some gum. There used to be coffee and creamer, and all kinds of stuff in these, and now there just isn't. So, we've eliminated these couple of things. Oh, and that, this, my kids eat this cheese crap, so I'm gonna set it aside for them. They don't mind it. I won't need the spoon because I'm taking a spork with me, but I will put it in my collection in case it comes in handy. I do save, I don't throw away any of the food. I'm fine purposes for it. Okay, so this is dumb. This, this also comes with, this is a carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder grape. Okay, grape happens to be one of my favorite flavors. Can you see that? It's kind of poorly lit in here. There we go. Um, the thing is, this is carbohydrate, which means it has sugar in it. And it takes up all of that much of the packaging, of this big package. That's what I mean by the wasteful packaging. But this is pretty light anyway, so I'm gonna take that with and leave the lemonade behind. So we'll put that in the discard pile. We have some pretzels. Always a tasty treat. So I have no problem with the pretzels. I'll take those with. We have our typical apple cinnamon flavor first strike energy bar. These are actually really good. I love these. They're delicious. And this will be a wonderful thing to have on my hike. We even have some M&Ms. Again, that's coming with. The more energy, the better, because this hike might be kind of a lengthy one, frankly. Oh, look. Two packages of M&Ms. That's unusual. The peanuts will give me some good protein. This is just sugar. So I'm going to set this aside for my kids, I guess. I don't need both. And then here's our main entree. And it looks like no heating element in this one. So we're eating these cold. So we got buffalo sauce and the chicken and the tortillas. So kind of a cold wrap, which is fine. Not a big deal. So this is what we're actually taking right here. And over here is what we're discarding all this. These extras I'm not taking and I'm getting rid of the garbage here. So what I usually do is take a lightweight Ziploc and just repackage everything. What I should have shown you is how much everything weighed before and after. Um, it's kind of too late to do that right now because I dismantled the thing. Next time I do one of these videos I will make sure to remember to do that. So I apologize. Oh, I don't want that. I almost threw the crap. I don't want the salt. The towelette, I probably won't need. Uh, geez, frankly, I don't need any of the accessories. I've got a roll pack that I keep well stocked that I always take with me on hikes and backpacking trips and outings. So none of that needs to go with me. There we go, repackaged MRE. Menu number five white ch uh, chicken chunks white cooked i guess they have to say cooked on there since you're not heating it you might wonder but all of the all of these mres are pre-cooked so you don't have to worry about you know eating raw food okay guys the rest of my pack is ready to go I'm gonna head out into the great outdoors on this beautiful day. I do have work tonight. In the meantime, it's about 10.30 a.m. and I'm gonna make the most of today and get out there on the trail. So thanks for watching, guys, this brief video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful somehow. And uh, if you have any thought, thoughts, comments, suggestions, or even opinions of this particular MRE, maybe you've eaten it before, I'd be interested to know. Um, in the meantime, get off the couch, get outside, and have some fun. The views are amazing. A lot better than this view right here, right now, frankly. So, if you can't get out, come along with me. I'd be happy to have the company. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.